Well, Ozzy, pleasure to have you with us on the journey for the 2022-23 campaign. Uh, what's your thoughts going into your second season here at Goldenton Road? Uh, that's a good question, because uh, I hadn't really thought about this season at all. Obviously, it ended how it did, um, with the cup loss last minute. But uh, I think I've developed so much as a player uh, over the last year. And I probably went into the champ season... Uh, a little bit uh, not naive. I just think like I hadn't actually had a full season of rugby since 2018, 2019. Because obviously 2019, 20 was cut short by COVID. So having a full season under my belt now, I really appreciate, especially towards the back end, how much of a toll it takes on your body. Even at you know in a part-time environment where Mike does really well to look after us. So. Regardless, your body still feels it. So uh, this year, I think going into my next season, I feel like I, I've got, I'm quite experienced now, um, having had pretty much every kind of game happen this season. Uh, and I think that I can bring that experience of just playing how games go, being able to turn a game around last minute, uh, what it takes to win those like crucial wins. Um, uh, into into the season, we can apply that as a player myself and as a team, and you know, I'm super excited to to see how far we go. If you had to hone it down into one thing specifically, what's the biggest thing you've learned in your first season here with us at Bedford Blues? The biggest thing I've learned, I think, Mikey's philosophy of player development is probably what I've adopted the most, which is, uh, you know. I, if you put it into the perspective of like grades, for example, so you would like to give yourself a grade for every single thing you do as a player, whether it's like tackling or ball carries, breakdown, scrum. Uh, instead of Mikey making someone who maybe is like an A in the scrum and like C in tackling and putting their tackling up, but their scrum ends up taking a hit from all the work they do on it. Uh, he keeps the super strength, super strengths, and he wants those to get even better. Uh, so, you know, everything else will come up with it. But instead of bringing your best things down um, and matching everything to like maybe an average of a C, uh, he'll he'll bring everything up just by you working really hard on the things you're already really good at to make you world class at those. Um, and then, uh, you know, still bringing up your average as as a player. So. I'd say it's probably what I've taken the most from being at Bedford so far. It's just working my super strengths, which is my scrum, uh, ball carry and tackle, and uh, you know, trying to develop everything else in my game. So, yeah, I think it's gone well. It's quite clear that in your first two answers, Mike's had a lot of influence over you in these first 12 months. Was he one of the key factors that is maybe the reason why you're uh, heading into a second season with us at Golden Road? Absolutely, that 100%. Uh, I think Mike, he gets me as a player. Uh, and he is really good at, sometimes I overthink too much in, uh, in rugby and life in general, to be honest. And I think he's he's been so good at just giving, he's like trusted me to do what I think is right on the pitch. Uh, and he boosted my confidence massively as a player. You know, just letting me express myself how I do uh, and making me feel like, and showing that I do fit in within the grander scheme of what Bedford Rugby is all about, which is obviously throwing the ball about and having fun with it. So, um, yeah, I think his relaxed, but uh, like purposeful approach to rugby is really has is, is helped me so much to just develop. So yeah, massive, he's a massive reason to why I resigned for sure. He's on the other side of the scrum, but how did you find working with Sean McCarthy in your first season as well? Yeah, sick. Uh, he's class bloke and class. He was obviously really good at scrums uh, prior to retiring, and I never did actually get to, to play against him. But you know, his kind of experience in the champ, uh, you know, <laughs> it helps so much. Just with like minor details from my scrummaging, maybe going into the season. Uh, he made a few changes with him and obviously uh, Cubby too is a seasoned veteran of the champ. Um, and those minor changes that they've they've uh, made to my game have you know 
helped massively to the point where, you know, now my scrum's a real weapon and uh, I'm excited to work with him for, for another year. So, uh, yeah, no, he's, he's been great. You've been talking about sort of those those senior figures. I guess you've profited quite quite a lot with the Northampton partnership. We had a couple of different tight heads for you to work with and obviously um, Corey Barrett as well. Um, was it a case of last season just trying to learn as much as you could off lots of different players whilst also putting putting your your own spin on things? I think I have that approach with literally every player regardless of position throughout. I'll have that throughout my career and I always have done. You know, I'm always trying to learn something from people, uh, whether it's like Alex Day on, you know, how to run onto the ball better or, uh, you know, Tui like tackling or whatever it is. He's probably going to hate that, say that. But, um, uh, yeah, whoever it is, I always try and learn from them. So, absolutely, you know, when Saints boys come in, uh, you know, Oish and Ed Prowse, they've, they've been their class when they've played for us. And, uh, you know, them, uh, them being able to, to come in from Saints and me knowing that they're probably going to play raises my standard because I know for me to, to not just get selected, but to like start those games. I have to be compelling enough to Mike to, for him to be like, yeah, no, I want to start Osman. So actually that competition is only ever going to make me better as a player. But I have to work so hard uh, you know, externally, but then also in, in training too, uh, to make sure that I'm at the standard where I know that you know, I, can, I can push in for selection. And uh, even though you're not asked, like, you know, I want to play as many games as I can last, uh, next season, I think. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I had 13 or 14 league appearances this year, something around those lines. Uh, you know, I, I want to play a lot more. <laughs> I want to play every game sort of thing. So um, having Saints players come in that you can set your standard against and you know mark that as, as the benchmark for you to, to perform greater than, you know, is, is great. It's, it's, it's good for me. So, yeah, I love it. The buzzword around Bedford at the moment is continuity. That obviously has continued in the, the front front row. We've announced a couple of you already and we've got a couple more to follow. Do you think that's going to help as well that you've had 12 months together, you've done all the learning, how each other scrummages, that kind of thing, and that we're on a better footing going into next season? Yeah, so I'm one of the new people still, even though I've been here for a year. Uh, I'm still one of the newer people. And uh, there was a lot of us, I think it was 19 coming into the season, something like that. Um, so it was inevitable that uh, much of this season would have been a learning process for us and trying to understand each other as players. And, and even though there is a, a uh, expectation of the format of rugby that we play based on being at Bedford under Mikey Ray. It's one o'clock. Um, sorry, um, based on being at Bedford under Mikey, uh, you never know how that will manifest itself based on the fact that we were all so new together. Um, but I think, yeah, as, as a front row, we grew massively this year. You know, at the beginning of this year, I remember uh, playing Amtel away for a pre-season friendly and it was a tough day at the office in the scrum and line out all everything. Like, forwards-wise, we were, we were definitely nowhere near as glued as we were towards the end of the year where actually we started putting pens on Cornish Pirates and and doing well against Donny, etc. So, you know, it's massive credit to uh, obviously personnel, but as you said, being able to glue together as a team, uh, it's hard, it takes time, uh, it takes minutes on the pitch together, it takes learning experiences, you know, bad losses like, you know, Cobb at home and, and uh, you know, that, that Jersey away game at the beginning of the season, you know, games like that, it takes for us to, to build that, uh, Again, as you said, continuity. So, yeah, I am excited for this season. I think we will understand each other better. I think it's only it's only a matter of time until we're uh, one of the most dominant packs in the league. And uh, you know, it's it's going to be it's going to be fun. To be honest, I'm looking forward to it. And it's the the same way I always end every re-signing interview. What's your special message to our supporters going into the 2022-23 campaign? Uh, well, firstly, thank you for the last year. Uh, I, again, being a newer player, uh, I didn't actually know what it was like going to a Bedford match and let alone playing the one. And it is sick, like just to have an actual crowd noise 
there's something good's happening on the pitch. It's sick. You know, it does it does spur you on when you're playing and you know in those critical moments in, in tough, tight games, hearing that that noise uh, does help a lot. So yeah, I'd like to say thank you for last season and uh, going to this season. It'd be you know great to see you all again at Golden to Road and uh, yeah, keep it keep it coming from a crowd noise perspective because the boys love it. Uh, again, if you want to talk about the reasons why we sign, the fans are another one. You know, what other? There's no other team in the league that that gets that kind of attendance. And uh, you know, even in the Prem, you know, the few games Sale Sharks had with had three and a half thousand people. You know. Boxing, they had four and a half, something like that. Yeah, it's, it's insane. It's amazing. So uh, I feel very blessed to be part of the team with such great supporters. And uh, yeah, looking forward to, to seeing them all again come uh, September.